But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. And we start by saying Happy Valentine Day, a day which is making Muhammad and his God, the devil, very angry. And uh, every year, you know, uh, the Muslim they have uh, uh, they launch in the internet a massive attack on any any anything you know anything Christianity uh, present. Uh, Christmas is a pagan day. Easter is a pagan day. Valentine it's a pagan pagan day. And look who is talking about paganism, the religion of the pagan, the black stone kissers. Let us celebrate Valentine Day. Hmm. Can a Muslim celebrate, you know, uh, Valentine Day? Absolutely not. What are you talking about? Even even celebrating birthday is a problem for them. I mean, those this this cult uh, is very weird. Uh, is Valentine Day is haram? You know, this girl she is asking, is it haram? <laughs> a Muslim perspective. <laughs> this is the son of Zachary Naik. He is just a kid. He is just a small rooster trying to, to, to inherit the business of his daddy. And nobody is watching his video. Look. <laughs> Two years ago, 3.5K video. <laughs> In a website, have more than three million subscribers. Unbelievable. Anyway, so hey, listen. Can we celebrate the uh, uh, you know Valentine Day, brother? No, brother. Haram, haram, haram. <laughs> Why Muslim don't celebrate Valentine Day? Let us see. I, I'm going to check one of those. You know, one by one. Give me a minute, so we can love together. Okay, give me a second, but just I want to be sure that there's no commercial playing when we play because those commercials are annoying. Okay, let's see. Let us start with this one here. And oh. ah, okay, this one have no commercial. All right. We start with this one. This is a guy, he is supposed to be from Lebanon. And you know, those who do not know Lebanon, Oh boy, I don't know what to tell you about Lebanon, especially Muslim territory. <laughs> they don't even go to the hotel. They do it in the back seat of the car. That's why when you go, especially to the beach area, you will see that all the cars are shaking like a cocktail machine or a laundry dryer. No need for more description, too much details. So this guy now is going to tell you about Valentine's Day and how dangerous it is. Listen carefully. My brothers and sisters, with Valentine's Day being around the corner, you know, I find it interesting to see the extent that people go through in search of love. Flowers, chocolates, love hearts, movies, songs, poems, whatever you want. And subhanAllah, it's natural. You know, it's very normal for every single person to want to be in love and to want to be in a relationship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that in our hearts. But the question here is, how do I search for this? And where do I go? You know, and specifically, I'm speaking to my single brothers and sisters. Where do you find true love, my brothers? Wallahi, you have two options. Halal 
and haram. Haram is dating, going to the movies, hooking up at the train station, you know, cafe, texting until late hours of the night, you know. This stuff you think is going to lead you to true happiness and love. But wallahi, my brothers and sisters, taking this path. Okay, hold on. I want to ask you how a Muslim, he find out if he love a woman or not. If he cannot text her, if he cannot talk to her, if he cannot see her, if he cannot see her face, if he cannot go out with her, if they cannot, if it's a haram to go to the coffee shop. So how a Muslim he do find his wife? When you go and search right now, you will find that Muslim countries are number one people in the world who search for sex with donkey. Am I lying? Am I lying? Top dog. You see, they don't want them to speak to girls. And this is the result. Men have sex together insist inside the family because you know a child he is a teenage he go he cannot see a girl okay who is the only girl he can see it's his sister the girl who is the only boy she can see it's her brother the result of this is a pervert community Searching for sex with dog, sex with horse, rape. And they are always the top of the list. 2010, 2020, 2019, 2015, it doesn't matter which year. So those Muhammadan who they grow beard and they come and they school Muslims about haram, brother haram, this is not right. You should go and check what they do in their houses and what they are watching in their TV. I remember when I was in the Middle East one day, the whole city is in the roof. The whole city. Everybody changing the direction of his satellite. And later we found out when I went afternoon, I was a teenage. One of the kids, he says to me, did you change your satellite direction? I said, why I will change it? They said, oh, they changed the location of the porn stations. <laughs> they are in different satellite. The whole city is in the roof. You know, in the Middle East, like our roof is not like in USA, you know, that it's concrete. So like people, even if you don't have a garden, they make a garden in the roof, they sit up, up in the last, last floor. Uh, especially in the in the in the like season where it's very hot, uh, even some people they put uh, like uh, you know because nobody can see you you're too high, uh, you you sleep in the roof you know to avoid the heat. Uh, the whole city is changing direction of satellite, searching for porn, and they are the most people who speak about God. The most corrupt police, the most corrupt judges, the most corrupt government, the most corrupt, even, even the guy who clean garbage in the front of your house, he will not do it unless you pay him. Additional to his salary. Even the postman, he will not deliver the mail. You will say to him, hey, my, you know, my kids, they sent me a, a card, you know, they did not come. I'm waiting for an important letter from for whatever. He say, oh, you know what? I can check for you, but you have to give me something, you know, to search is going to take. He is hiding it. The phone guy, he come to your house, he look at the door. Is your phone is working? You go inside, he says, yeah, the phone is working. You know, all days like we have hard line, we don't have cell phone. So he say, okay, uh, you know, I will be here in case your phone is, uh, is stop working. Let me know because we are working in the boxes. After a few minutes, your phone is cut off. You go there right away and you say, hey, my phone. He say, well, I cannot read it. It's time now time to go. It's my day is over. I can work only if it's over time. Are you going to pay me? Hmm? The government pay me for it now. And now you will stay without line. So this is how corrupt they are. But nobody of them, he don't pray every day in the morning. Five times a day. They grow beard. They say the name Allah in everything they say, even when they are doing boom, boom to their wives. 
and then they want to give you speeches about Valentine Day. So listen to this guy. Oh, let us see another guy. Who is this guy? The origin of uh, the Muslims are very educated about the origin of Valentine Day. Let us see what this guy want to say. Call your doorbell camera company. And okay, commercial as usual. Let us pass this. Give me a minute. I mean, YouTube. What you can see. You cannot even play one video without commercial. All right. Let us hear this idiot, what he is saying to us about Valentine's Day. Go. That was known in, by the ancient Romans uh -huh. as the Lupercalia. Uh -huh. And the Lupercalia was a, a ceremony, and Luper means wolf. And they depicted a wolf chasing a little girl. And so they had a ceremony. I'm not making this up, by the way, right? If you want to, you can look. Absolutely, absolutely. You are a scumbag and you are a big fat liar. Those things he's talking about have nothing to do with Valentine's Day. You know, the old pagan days, they have different celebration, it have nothing to do with love, have to do with sex. And this is why they beat women, they slaughter animals, they throw blood at them. What Valentine have to do with this? So they are looking for things have nothing to do with the Christianity to lie to people. And then let us say for the sake of argument, in the old days, you Muslims, you go around the Kaaba before Islam. In the old days, you Muslims, you go to the black stone. And that time, that time supposed you are a pagan. In the old days, you Muslims, you believe that the black stone forgive your sin. In the old days, and until now you do the same. Who is the one who is a pagan? So the Muhammadan, they look for stories that have nothing to do with Valentine. This is called Valentine Day. And there is a reason for it. Have nothing to do with any of what this guy is saying. A Roman emperor, he for, he for, you know, he forbids soldiers who they are going to war to marry until they finish their service. A Christian priest, he opposed men have the right to have a family and to get married. They executed the man and they killed the two men. It happened that two men who they are executed too, their name is Valentine. So this priest, he stood up for those two men and he paid his life too for it. What does have to do with this? So those evil people who they lie with no shame, thinking if they lie and they fabricate stories, people will hate such a day. This is the whole idea. Every single thing in Islam is a paganism. The Kaaba is a paganism. I mean, even the paganism of Muslims is so silly and so stupid. Like, you know, a black stone, forgive your sin. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. The black stone is going to have two eyes. The black st the Quran will come as a pale man. I mean, you Muslims are very pagan. And Allah have hands, and Allah have a shin, and Allah have an ass, and Allah, he will expose his shin, he will do his trapeze, and then they say to you, you worship a man. The most awkward, false religion we call it religion because eh, they believe in it. But in reality, this is nothing but a sex maniac organization. Sex gang. My Skype is open. If there is any Muhammad that would like to join us, I will be happy to take you for snack. Uh, look like, uh, okay, this guy is not a Muslim. We thought he's a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, you'd like to join us, please feel free. Text me in Skype and I will call you immediately. Text me, tell me I'm a Muslim. Just don't text me only. <clears throat> and if you are a Christian, do me a favor and don't text me unless it is necessary. You can chat in the chat with everybody. All right. All right, okay. Oh, sorry, I have been using your book. Okay. 
Yeah, so here we like, you know, uh, you guys, you can make those notes, post them in the down the section in the comment section, because here I'm trying to figure out what people are saying to me. I mean, okay, uh, do you need to tell me this? I know. So hi, Christian Prince. I hope you are well. I'm a Christian. We bought your book, Deception of Allah, and it is recommended to me, blah, etc. Okay, so he is using my book's information to expose Islamic lies and uh, deception. Uh, very good. Is it permissible to celebrate Valentine's Day, brother? No, brother. Haram, haram. No. But it is permissible to have sex with watermelon. <laughs> is it permissible to do molestation for a child? She is an infant Shia boy. This guy is a Shia. Let us see what the Shia boy want to say to us. Go. Is it permissible? And who is the one will tell you what is a permissible and what is not permissible? This guy, he know all the permissible. He practice it, all of it. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum jamee'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ah, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. sometimes ask the question ah. whether it's permissible for us to celebrate or commemorate Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this from an Islamic perspective. Let us, let us. Islam advocates showing love in the form of compassion. Really? Okay, Abdul, where you can find me in your book, it says you love your wife. Does it say you love your wife or you do nikah to your wife, you if your wives, not one. Quran, in fact, advise Muslim to start with if in two. And if you cannot, and then three and four. And if you cannot afford it, then you go for one. Only if you could not afford it. Mercy, kindness. Mercy. Islam religion, according to the Quran and according to Muhammad, they cut the hand of a thief if he steal an egg. Do you know what the Bible says if somebody steal an egg to eat? No punishment. Because if he's hungry, this person is not a thief. He's a starving. If he's a starving, there's no penalty. So which one is religion of mercy? A person we cut his hand, and by the way, Muhammad is the biggest thief in history. He stole wives and their husbands. He raped, he killed, he stole a nation. He kidnapped a whole nation. And the Muslim, they give you a speech about Islam is religion of mercy. How true is that? Who wanna prove me wrong? Feel free to call me. My Skype is in the info of the video here. Uh, is my Skype showing? Yeah, it's there. Okay. Reaching out to those who are in need, those who have been marginalized, and specifically to do so for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, Habibi, Ya Rasulallah. Those Shia, they, they, they speak like this when they speak in Arabic. The Arabic is very funny. And for the sake of Allah, we have sexual relationship with infant because we love infant. Al Khomeini, in his book, he says, question number six to page number 241, the book of Tahrir al Wasila. If a man he is when I have sex with the child, she's haram. He cannot do so. However, all kind of sexual enjoyment is halal, including hugs, tafkid, which means putting your penis between her thigh. Even if she is an infant, what? Even if she is an infant, you know, maybe Christian Prince is lying. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Christian Prince is making things up remember uh, th this is the religion of ethic brother haram Valentine is haram uh, okay let us see 
We open the book and we will share the link with you. We don't say <coughs> you see I have a very good memory I remember even the page number still hmm, that's good all right let us see Here we go. I was looking just for the page, official page of the Shia library, so the Shia, they will not say we are making things up. And I will post the link for you. I just need to shorten the link. Give me a second. This is the book of Tahrir al-Wasila, written by the Imam al-Khumaini, the highest scumbag ever in the history of the Shia in modern days. And he is the founder of the Islamic State of Republic of Iran. And for sure, because of him, Iran now is way better. To the point people, they are selling their kidneys. Hmm. Okay, link. Shorten. Let us shorten this link for you, and we give you the link. And you can do the same as I do, I will do on the screen. You can. Open the link with Google browser, please not other browsers, so you can use the uh, the translation. So let us use Google Translation. And here, you know, before we go from the Arabic into the English, you will find here, it says problem number 12 or question number 12 or issue number 12. It says here in Arabic, لا يجوز وطء الزوجة قبل إكمال تسع سنين. It's not allowed for a man to F his wife if she is not nine years old. But imagine, you can marry her. Listen carefully. <laughs> this is the Shia opinion. Uh, regardless if this is uh, the if in it was continue or from time to time. However, all kind of sexual enjoyment, like touch, hugs, tafkhid, which means putting your penis between her legs, it is okay even if the wife she was an infant and if he if her before the age of nine but he did not put it all the way in which means he did not make her lose whatever there's no sin in that let us use google translation and read together al khomeini uh, Tahrir al-Wasila, the name of the book. Uh, 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 Al-Khomeini, you see Al-Khomeini, the founder of Iran, terrorist regime. Very number two, page number 241. And now we go to issue number 12. And here you're not, by the way, if you read the whole page, you will die laughing. Look at this here. The strongest opinion that is a, it is, is that it is a permissible to have annual intercourse with the wife <laughs> if there is an extreme hatred, <laughs> which means even if the wife she hated, you do boom boom for her anus. It's a religion. It's a religion, brother. It's a religion. This is the book of God, and you know this is what God taught us. Now, uh, not a question. This is uh, issue number twelve. Not a question. Issue number 12. Okay, what issue number 12? Tell us about it, brother. Tell us, tell us. I hope the text is coming clear for you, and you guys, you share the link and save it. It is not permissible to have intercourse with the wife before she complete nine. So you can marry her even if she is one day old. That's why later it says you can put your dude between her legs even if she's an infant, which means a Muslim Shia, he can marry an infant. But he should not have sex with her unless she is nine. 
However, all kind of sexual activities, including putting your thing, as long as you don't make her lose it, it's okay. However, even if you put it in, there's no punishment. It's okay. Whether the marriage is not marriage, even whether the effing is continuous or interrupted from time to time, as well all other pleasures such as touching with desire and uh, you know uh, putting your things between that the, the the translation is coming wrong, putting your things between her legs or grabbing, there is nothing wrong with it, even with the breast feeding female not women translation is false even with the breastfeed infant the translation here by the way it's an infant radia radia i mean an infant she's still breastfeeding but this abdul is making a speech about haram haram brother haram it is not permissible for muslims shia and you know to have uh, the valentine day it is permissible to have sex with the child. She is an infant by putting your sick private part between her legs. Who knows better what is a permissible and what is not permissible? For sure, Islam, brother. In a hadith reported from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, he says, Afdalu al-a'mal al-hubbu fillah. The best of your actions is to love for the sake of God. But he will not tell you that this is about going and doing jihad, not about loving your, your, your wife. <laughs> what is the best love for Muslims is to love Muhammad and hate everybody. Actually, Muhammad, he said to them to say, he told them to say that I sacrifice my mother and my father for your sake, Prophet of Allah. This is the love they are talking about. This is a Shia website. This is what? Shia website. In this Shia website, it's called Shia Pen. Shia and Muslim Sunni, they expose their morality to each other. So Shia, they make articles about the morality of the Sunni. Sunni make example of the morality of the Shia. The first example of Sunni morality, Salafi ulama, ruled that masturbation is halal. Okay, continue. Second example of Sunni morality, that it is legitimate to have a dildo for female sex toy. This is religious. This is not a sex thing. No, this is religious. This is religious opinion. And they are giving you the reference. The third example of the Sunni morality and the scholar, ulama mean here, the word ulama means scholars have ruled it is permissible to have sex with watermelon. <laughs> oh boy. So while the whole world, and like male and female, maybe, you know, we are not going to talk now about what is right, what's wrong. I mean, people, they do every kind of things. Uh, Valentine, they have nothing to do with those perverts who go and sleep around. This is what not what Valentine Day is about. Valentine Day is about getting married. Have nothing to do with the sleeping around. You love a woman. Uh, and the reason it's called Valentine, because those men, they want to get married. And the emperor forbid them. And he executed two men, their name is Valentine, and uh, uh, both of them, their name is Valentine. As I remember the story, it is. And uh, uh, a priest, he stood up for the story, uh, for what happened, and he was executed too, because he fought against uh, the emperor. The emperor, he don't want his soldiers to get married until they... Uh, finish their service because he don't want people to keep asking for vacation when they are going for war what is the excuse okay i want to see my wife and my children which is very stupid for the emperor because simply if those men don't have babies and they die in what war you will not have soon more men to fight so he's a stupid emperor for sure but here you notice that the muhammadan they have different uh, you know uh, 
What is uh, what is love? What is love for a Muslim? We are talking about watermelon. We are not talking about anything else. Watermelon. When a Muslim he do boom boom to a watermelon, what will happen? The watermelon will give birth to a Muslim baby. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Mm. And by the way, supposedly this picture here, a drawing by a Palestinian watermelon boy. The Palestinian artist explain how watermelon symbolize Palestinian identity in the struggle. <laughs> listen to this, listen to this. <laughs> That's a good one. So the watermelon <clears throat> became a symbolic for Hamas. That's amazing. Is that why you F it? Let us read together how Muslim love watermelon. May Allah bless her. And what is the consequences of making love to watermelon? <clears throat> I hope the text is clear for you. If a man make a hole in a watermelon or a piece of dough or leather skin or a statue, statue and has sex with it, has wood, well, he has one. Watermelon, how you do? Right now, I just got you. I cannot wait to go back home. And I am not planning for sure to eat you. Watermelon, what I will do? I cannot tell you, shame on you, watermelon, I will make a hole, and I will remind every Muslim with the goal, and as soon you insert it in, the whole nation will scream gold, watermelon, what I can do, shame on Muhammad, shame on you, but remember, Valentine is haram, Valentine, what are you talking about? We hate Valentine, we love watermelon. Let us make a hole and make a goal. Explain to us more, please. Then this is the same as we have said about other type of masturbation, i.e. it is halal, halal means kosher. In the same circumstances, given before such as being in a journey oh, now we know if a muslim he have a watermelon in the fridge of his rv what he is doing with it especially it has a hole he don't eat it so now you are in a journey okay a journey i've so when you are a journey you have sex with watermelon this is your companion This is a religion, brother. This is a religion. In fact, it is easier than masturbation with one hand. The guy is an expert. <laughs> the big sheikh who is explaining this, he is telling you, in fact, it's easier. What do you mean? How hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you make a movie? Like, can you call Andrew Tits to make a porn movie about it? In fact, it is easier than masturbation with one hand. Are you sure? Listen to me. 
Why you wanna use your hand? He never heard of the watermelon method. It's so good. I have a caller, hold on. Tiridum tiridum. Tiridum tiridum. Tiridum tiridum. Great imprint. But of all, I don't do empathy. What are you doing, Zachary Naik? I mean, now it's it's the middle of the night in in Pakistan. What are you doing, Kithim Prince? Right now, I can't tell you what is between my hand. What is between your hand, man? What are you doing? I have a watermelon. What the heck? At the middle of the night, you have a watermelon between your hands like a neck. What are you doing with it? Are you eating? Kithim Prince, are you stupid? It's not good. And I'm a doctor. It's not good to eat in the middle of the night. So what are you doing with the watermelon, Zach and Naik? Kithim Prince, first of all, this is personal information. I can't tell it with you. What the heck? Listen, what do you mean personal information? Old already you told me you have a watermelon between your hands. What are you doing with it at the middle of the night? Christian Prince, I swear by Allah, if we don't hang them in the night, I will call the police for you. What police? What it's I'm not okay, I'm not going to hang up. Christian Prince, you should hang up. I'm not going to hang up. I'm only new you to hang up. Listen, Zachary Naik, if you hang up on me, I will come to your house and I will take the watermelon and you will stay single for the rest of your life. Please, please, Christian Prince, please leave my water alone. I will answer you. Okay. So what are you doing with the watermelon? First of all, my wife left me. Okay. And now I'm alone. I got that. And the only thing left in the house is the watermelon. Uh, uh, the only thing left in the house is what? The watermelon. Okay. And now you know not need my companion. Dr. Naik, aren't you ashamed of yourself? How you can have sex with watermelon? Same time, you know, like, is it so small or so big? It's a... Uh, Christian Breath, first of all, don't ask about my private size. I'm not talking about asking your private size. I'm talking about the watermelon, Abdul, not, not your, I know it's small, that one. I'm talking about the watermelon. Is it big watermelon or a small watermelon? I mean, it's like adult, mature, or she is a child. Christian Breath, first of all, don't think what's in that very private. And me, between me and my wife, nobody have involvement. Please leave me alone. I have to go now. This is a religion. Muslim, this is a religion. And you are talking about what is haram, what halal, and Valentine Day, and you are busy effing watermelon. Even watermelon is not safe from your hand. And then the Shia, they are asking the Muslims, Ibn al Qayyim, by the way, Ibn al Qayyim, Muimi uh, Hijab, uh, uh, he keep mentioning his name, Muimi Hijab, and Ali Dawa, and all those comebacks. Here, the Shia they are asking the Sunni. All the Muslims should certainly be grateful that Ibn al Qayyim has offered this advice on the easiest way to masturbate. And clearly, Ibn al Qayyim has done. A lot of personal research and the issue. <laughs> this is the ruling of the safe sect. Yeah, Islam is a safe religion, yeah. You know. Contracting temporarily marriage with women is haram because Shia until now they practice such a thing. So the Sunni they say we should not do that no more because Prophet he forbid it, but the Quran allow it. But contracting temporarily marriage with watermelon is halal. In this defense, in his defense, perhaps Ibn al Qayyim is only meant that it's allowed to marry watermelon with an intent of divorcing it. For doing muta with watermelon would be clearly an act of fornication. <laughs> Who won this website? Who won it? Who won this website? <coughs> Anyone won this website? This is a Muslim website, by the way. I will give it to you later, especially, but first, uh, I, will, I want to share it only with married people. I cannot give it to young ones, especially Muslims. I mean, look what are we teaching people here. Let me look at the stock market. Stock market of watermelon is skyrocketing. What's happening? Everybody buying a stock market for watermelon. Watermelon stocks market. What the heck?
Oof. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it that I just typed stock uh, watermelon stock market and I found the stock market for watermelon. <laughs> I was I thought I'm joking, you know. <laughs> it's called melon SA. Okay, no problem. Forget about it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And then he's asking a question here. Let us remember the words of Dr. Salama. This is a Muslim, you know, he's like, you know, uh, he is uh, like attacking the Muslims, Sunni, uh, Shia, sorry. Quoted in the beginning of his book, Muta, on the other hand, is an open license for sexual pleasure with as many women as one can afford, financially afford. And here you see the stupidity of the Muhammadan. Muta is in the Quran. So are you saying to me, Muslim Sunni, while you are attacking the Muslim Shia, that Allah, he gave you an open license of fornication? Remember, this is the Muslim Sunni saying that. Uh... Christian friends, why don't Christians want to protest against LGBT? A Christians are telling me we should uh, we shouldn't protest the battle. It's not against the flesh. Uh, first of all, if you protest against them, what that would do? Look, okay, go scream in the street like a like a dog. How 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 how? There is now tons of thousands of people screaming against Israel. How 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 how? Uh, so. Protesting is something stupid, unless you can do something with it. But nothing can be done with those protests. I believe that those people who do protest <clears throat> or protest, they are, you know, they have nothing to do in life. They want to keep themselves busy. And if somebody pay them, maybe they will go. Like the source, you know, all, all the protests we see for Palestine, so-called Palestine, is made by Qatar, the money of Qatar. So protest is, a, is, is an act of stupidity. You know, unless it can make a difference. And we know those things cannot make a difference. You want to change things, elect the right one. Elect the one who will present you in a democratic way, civil way. And this one, he will oppose what you oppose. And this is the right way to do things. But going in the street, blocking roads, disturbing the, the, the safety and security of the population is a stupid and savage act. It is. <clears throat> so if you want to change things, you change it, but not by protesting. What protesting would do? Uh, anyway, you know, uh, I always struggle with people who, I don't know, people they don't think really. I don't want to use the word flesh because I don't want to like be uh, insulting you, but try to use the wisdom that God gave you. If I go right now in the street and I hold a sign, okay, sure. I better go online. I would have a, a chat room full of 1,000, 200, 2,000, 3,000 people listening to me. I am protesting here. And people are listening, I show them evidence, I convince them, better than screaming and disturbing the, 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 the peace of the society. And here only those who they are interested will join. <clears throat> so we have to be, we have to be smart. And you don't have to agree with me, go protest. And while you are waiting for somebody to tell you we should not protest, go protest. Why people will tell you what to do, what not to do? Like, do you need, you know, uh, honey, should I throw the garbage? Shouldn't you know that the garbage should be thrown? Do you need permission? Hey, honey, should I wash dishes? Shouldn't you know that washing dishes is a must? Otherwise, your house would be full of cockroaches. So if you think there is something dirty around you, clean it. Do something about it, but because you are here just to speak. <clears throat> uh, Christian Prince, 
I don't always agree with you. Thank God you don't. Because I heard that you like a food I don't like. <laughs> That's really horrible. If you, you know, we don't know what to agree about that. Because you agree with me, that means I agree with you. And if I agree with you, that means you agree with me. And that will remind me of the chapter of the Kafirun. Oh, you disbelieve. I believe not in what you believe. And you will not believe in what I believe. And I will do not believe in what you believe. So you will not do believe in what believe. And I will never believe in what you believe. And I will never believe in what you believe. Because you don't believe in my belief. And we believe. We are not in what you believe. And I have my God, you are yours. Thank you very much. That is deep logic. Now we go back to the, the watermelon issue. And we go to the court of divorce. Divorcing watermelon. <laughs> Unbelievable. He says... The women who engage in muta are hired women, true. Thus, it cannot be uh, uh, performed with all women irrespective uh, of their age. Okay, uh, characters, conduct, or religion. It required no witnesses, nor if there's any obligation on a man uh, the part to provide food and shelter for the women. <laughs> and here they're asking the question, here the Shia asking question for the Sunni. Will it seem that the Nasibi, they call this the Muslim Sunni Nasibi logic, having sex with all uh, uh, as many women as one can afford is utterly immoral, but having sex with as many watermelon as one can afford is not. Based on this, <clears throat> let us ask some questions about the rules, rules related to having sex with watermelon are there any conditions as age of the watermelon for example is it allowed to perform marriage with intent of divorce and newly growing watermelon or must be one wait until the watermelon is nine years old <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> this is islam and then they make videos for us about what is Valentine and what is Haram. This is Islam. Example of Sunni morality, a Salafi man. Oh, you remember uh, uh, Muhammad Hijab making, uh, making very angry. And he asked me, did you say to suckle me? Did you say to this woman, suckle me? Did you say to this woman, suckle me? I said, yes, I was caught in your filthy prophet. He hung up on me. <laughs> I was caught in your filthy prophet, you idiot. Suckle me, baby. In the land of suckling. Where women have their nipples exposed. Prophet of Allah. He come with the new method, a revolutionary. If a husband, he is jealous, and his wife is hot, what he should do? There's a very well-known, big, 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 big scientist from NASA. His name is Sheikh Isper. He said, to suckle or not to suckle, that is the question. That's a big problem. What we should do. You have someone, he's your neighbor or your friend. He enter your house and he look at your wife a dirty way. She looks so yummy. And you are jealous. What you should do? You are a potato. You can do nothing about it. So Prophet of Allah, he decided to help you. He commanded your wife, to suckle him and commercial break if you have a neighbor and he is looking at your wife 
call us now. We have an open service for cycling. Cycle.com is the best to come. Soon will be open 24 hours a day, eight days a week, in case you do not know. End of commercial. Brothers, sisters, the Muslims, they follow the God of morality. But the Prophet of Allah, he commanded women to do sakalin. Can I sakal you? Sure, honey. Start from the left one, please, because the other one is busy with the other neighbor. What the heck? Two head in one bra? And is it for free? And what we are going to suck exactly? <laughs> and look here. <clears throat> we read in the Sahih Muslim hadith number 3426. Look, even their suckling have numbers. This is why I'm saying to you, you are we are out numbers. Three, four, two, six, the book of sex, suckling, suckling all the way. Forget about Valentine's Day. Prophet Muhammad has a solution. It's way better than Master Busin. Commercial break. If you are a person who do not know what to do with your wife nipples, we have a job for her. Suckle your neighbor right now. Your neighbor is so hungry, and this is a free charity program. What the heck is that? So here it says, <clears throat> Ibn Abi Malik, um, Malik, whatever, reported Al Qasim, blah, 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 from Aisha, Allah blessed her, uh, reported that Sahla bin Suhail, blah, 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 okay. So she came to Muhammad and she said to him, uh, Prophet, uh, my husband, we have a person, he live with us and he is a growing man. Uh, what I should do? He look at me and my husband is so upset. So the Prophet, he said, <laughs> whereupon, the Prophet said, suckle him so that he become unlawful. By the way, it doesn't say that unlawful. According to Muslims, if a Muslim man, he suckle a Muslim woman, she can be exposed to him. It is lawful for her to sit with him in one bed or sleep with him in one bed. But this is not sexual. This is not sexual. And then Aisha, she commanded her sisters and her nieces to suckle anyone when I enter upon her to see her. Imagine you go to meet Joe Biden. And, you know, his wife is not that young, so I guess it's better to suckle his nieces. <laughs> so Aisha, she commanded... Uh, <laughs> The fourth proof, verily, Aisha was heavily involved in this subject matter. She used to act upon it, and would debate people. It would be invite a female companion to do it. Aisha uh, wa uh, was very interested in this topic. So how could this verdict, i.e. suckling an adult, have become abrogated? Eh, I don't know what to say. They are busy with halal and haram while this religion is the most messed up cult ever do we have any muslim would like to call us <clears throat> anyone who is a muhammad and he have the courage and the knowledge to call me anyone This is can't be real. What are you talking about? This is real. This is very real. Even Aisha, she commanded her sisters, let me open the hadith for you. You don't believe me, don't you? I'm going to report to the Sharia police. Hold on. I will tell the police about you. 
the uh, YouTube bullies. Remember the guy who told me he would report me to YouTube bullies? <laughs> so if we go to the Hadith, <clears throat> We find this. Uh, all right. Mm. Yeah, let us show this hadith. Hadith means a speech, you know. Uh, even the Quran, by the way, is a hadith, in case you do not know. So here it says that Aisha, Yahya, related to me from Malik, from, 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 the religion of Afram, that Aisha, the mother of the believers, Ummul Mu'mineen, which means mother of the believers, uh, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister Umm Kathum, been to Abi Bakr as Siddiq. Look how many names for one guy, <laughs> like a like a train. Anyway, and said suckle him ten times so that he can come to see me. Hmm? You what? In order to see Aisha. You have to suckle her sister breast ten time. Hello, it's me you're looking for. Who is the one who wants suckling? It's me you're looking for. Please come here. The breast is waiting for you. Hello, Aisha, she sent me to you. She told me I need to suckle you and I feel so hot like a barbecue, hello. From which breast we start? Can I do it in the same time I fart? Hello? What the heck is this? So in order to see the wife of the prophet, you have to suck, like, I mean, okay, why suckle her wife, suckle the sister, not suckle Muhammad herself, Aisha herself? <laughs> like, listen, listen, Aisha is so conservative. You cannot suckle her, law, but you can suckle her sister. Oh, okay. Mm. But Valentine is haram. Uh -huh. <clears throat> if we go to the Middle East and we type Urda'ul Kabir, we will see even Muslims themselves are dying and laughing at the stupidity of this religion. This is a guy, he entered upon his house and he found his wife suckling the neighbor. <laughs> he said to him, uh, This is Egyptian accent. <laughs> like, what? what? What my neighbor is doing in your lap? Huh? Umm Muhammad. What the heck my neighbor is doing in your lap? Don't worry, honey. He just came to take uh, some breastfeeding. This is our neighbor, not a stranger. Oh, okay. I thought he's a stranger. Okay, now I feel better. Okay, how many left? 10 days. Ten, we just started, so it's 10 days. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Actually, in Arabic, it says, he came to take the last suckling, which means the 10 days, because they have to do it 10, 10 days and 10 different time until he is satisfied. It's not like, mm, no, 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 no. You have to keep suckling until you are, you cannot take it no more. <clears throat> and then uh, it says here, 
because tomorrow is a vacation. It is the birthday of the Prophet. Happy New Year. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> don't misunderstand the situation you know this is uh, another one hold on what is this ah so this is the wife of Muhammad you remember the hadith where Muhammad he sent his wife to see her dad and when she arrived there she asked her dad she said did you ask for me he said no he said, oh, my husband, Prophet Muhammad, told me to come to see you. So she came back home right away, and she found Muhammad in the bed with his slave girl. And he was doing boom, boom. So she said to him, she said to him in Arabic, في ليلتي وعلى فراشي In my night, on my in my bed, you filthy son of Muta. <coughs> there is a lot of character made. Oh, if look at this. This guy is bringing some cookies with him. What he's doing? Hold on. And a jay arda mish ashan ay haja. La sumah Allah. And a jay biscuit. A jay arda fatar bas. So this guy he is saying to this Muslim lady, listen, listen. Don't think I'm coming for breastfeeding for something like sexual, huh? No. This is why I'm bringing biscuit with me because I need milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> honestly don't all of you feel especially men women I don't know you feel like this is a religion we need huh I mean the look you don't have cookies you have cookies she have milk bingo this is a religion not, you know, Christianity, if your eye, you know, and block it, and uh, here, you know, you go to the neighbor, you know, you have uh, cookies, you know, uh, need milk. Prophet Muhammad says, if you, this is for love, for the sake of Allah, love for the sake of Allah, the Sheikh, he was saying, it's not teach you love for the sake of Allah. Uh, what else we can see here? Hold on. <clears throat> Uh, the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, no, 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 you don't do it this way. You do it this way. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they try to duct tape the stupidity of their false prophet. And they say, no, no, this is not what it's what they're saying. This is not about breastfeeding. It says they're breastfeeding you, idiot. Oh boy. Not making him drink milk. And this woman already, she is old. What milk? She have no more sure. You think even God, they don't have a milk unless they have babies. Ah, breastfeeding for adult, huh? Oh boy. Look at this. This is the station of Iran. They are making fun of the Muslim Sunni, saying, from breastfeeding for adult, for having good relationship with Israel. <laughs> Supposedly the Shia are better than the Sunni. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Radiaihi, radiaihi, radiaihi. Let me see if we have uh, what this guy is saying. Hold on. What? Wallah fikra. Inish, inish, that rata. السفرجي والشواق علشان دبري محرمة عليهم والواحد يرتاح بقى. So this is an, an old guy supposedly he married to a young woman. He did read about the wisdom of the Prophet of Allah Muhammad. 
how he advised the women to do suckling breastfeeding so the men will not like her no more and will not feel any temptation so he's saying okay well this is a good idea okay so now you, you can suckle them those men who keep looking at you and now I will feel comfortable no more worry so the old husband he's now more secure he feel more secure because all those who like his wife because she is young she will suckle them and now he is not worried about any of the neighbors looking at his wife in a sexual way. I mean, isn't it? This is really beautiful. Let us be honest here. Have you ever seen any believe in the... I mean, you see, if you go to Thailand, you will feel that you see there is night club, there is a prostitution, there's women almost wearing nothing. But they don't claim that God and God told us and God said and you know. But here, this is a religion claiming that they are covered, claiming that they are conservative, claiming that women wear burqa, yet they do what nobody can believe. Do we have any Mohammedan from the suckling territory? Anyone? Who wanna join us? Mm. Let us see. Oh boy. Let us check Skype. In Skype, we have zero text from any Muslim. So the Muslims, brother, brother, why nobody can debate Muslims? Because they are so brave and they are so knowledgeable in their religion. And their God is one God. The one God, Allah, He commanded Muslim women to be a garage. Anyone He can park his private part in her vagina. A woman, she can give her breast, but she have, they are conservative. Brother, listen, we have to wear hijab. I'm serious. You see those pictures don't present to you the truth. The woman, she cannot really. She can take off her hijab after he suckle her 10 times, not before. Before that, he can only hold her boobs, only, and suckle them, touch them, and play with them. Boing, boing. But they are very conservative. I don't know. I think this is a very uh, convincing belief. And I don't know if you, if you are wasting your chance, you should convert to Islam right away. <clears throat> All right. Any Muslim here would like to join us? Any Abdul? Anyone? Yeah, you see, if you know the Muslim, they speak about uh, the Bible is corrupt, and and then you look at this stupid, filthy, satanic cult. I mean, look who is talking about what is right and what's wrong. Look who is going to school us. Look at their countries. By the way, do you know that Trucker Carson? He was last week, a few days ago, he was in uh, Dubai. I don't know if he's still there. And he was saying that uh, Muslim countries are way better than his country. I will make a video about this as come back. And he said that the ruler of Emirates is very wise. And his country is not safe no more. Those countries are safe. When you see the Muslims inviting someone to their stages, it is mean he is doomed. 
This is what they did to Andrew Tits. And he is following the steps. I will make a special life about this filthy man who always try to fool you and convince you that he is a person who is a Christian, he is American, and he is a, uh, he's a, he's a, like, he care for America, he love America, but in fact, this person is really an evil, disgusting creature. Maybe tomorrow, or the day after, I will, I will make a special video about him. <clears throat> and you will see how we can expose his lies and everything he said. And you know, it's very sad that those who they have influence on the society today are the most stupid ones. Literally. If there is somebody is wise, he will be buried. Totally buried. People love conspiracy. Just say conspiracy. So I, I, I look. I, I saw a book. Look, the big foot man in my backyard. He's yes. I like big foot. That's my shoes. And uh, I'm the man. <laughs> he saw a big foot. Just say he saw uh, 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 alien, and the government are hiding the alien from us. Just say anything. People are like you know, like goats. Goats who have no shepherd. And they join the crowd. It doesn't matter what the crowd is about. And we have a duty as a Christians not only to expose Islam, but to expose the false one who they claim that they are Christians. And they give us a very bad image. I warn you not to listen. You can listen to him just to expose him, but don't believe those people. And always, doesn't matter who you speak to, check the facts. Like this guy, when he made the video, and I will, I will, I will, I will show you next time I go live, when he said that his country is not safe no more, and those countries, and he named Dubai and uh, you know uh, uh, other countries, and Russia, they are safe. But if you go right now and check the crimes in Dubai, you will not believe it. This is the land of everything wrong. This is the land where the mafia is in control. This is the land where even the police, they will torture you. The royal family, the, 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 the man who was praised by, by Tucker Carlson, he called him wise man. He kidnapped his own daughter. We have to expose them. <clears throat> what do you think of a stupid American who traveled to Russia, got a 25, 21 years in jail? He got a 20 years in jail by who? By the Russian or by the American? <clears throat> Did they accuse him that he is a spy? You see, if you go to Russia and you get out and they did not arrest you, that means there is something wrong. There is something wrong. The Russian, they are using you. You know, the Russian, they are, the, the trucker Carson talking about Moscow is safe. Well, this guy coming as a guest, he have a secret police walking with him. He have bodyguards, you know, and he's talking about safe. Go and see the criminals from, from the Chechen Republic who they are flooding Moscow selling drugs, weapon, and because they are protected by Putin, they don't even stay in jail for one day. The police don't even dare to arrest them. I saw a video of a, 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 a Russian soldier. He stopped a car for the dogs of Kadarov. The dogs of Kadarov, they came out from the car and almost they executed the man. And he is a, he is a soldier in a, in a checkpoint. Why? Because they are protected by Putin. Putin, he used them as dogs, and he unleashed them at anyone who oppose him. 
Everybody knows in Russia. This is why the dogs of Qadarov, they are all over the place. Anyway. But still people, they, they trust this uh, trucker car so it's come back. Do we have any Muhammadan? Like now, you know, now the Republican, they are going to the border to close the border. Where you been before? Just a question. Where you been 10 years ago? Where you been five years ago? Where you been 20 years ago? Uh, what happened? Always people, they cross the borders by millions. Always. What happened? It's a trend. Suddenly you woke up. All of them, they are a bunch of liars. When there is an occasion, they will take advantage of the occasion. We have election. When George Floyd died, suddenly all the Democrats, they are people who love the black people. When, but when the election is over, nobody cares. So George Floyd Street, George Floyd Stadium, George Floyd School, and even they made a coffin for him made from gold. The guy, he, he have a long list of crimes. He died because he was going, he was committing a crime, and he resisted the police. And then they took the police and they put them in jail. We know that all the court is a politically motivated. And those police men, they paid their, their life. One of them is being killed in jail already. They destroyed their life. Just because they want to use it for political agenda. They arrested the police. And if I don't resist, the guy is six foot tall. Taller, maybe. He's a giant. And he commit a crime. He was using fake money. This is a bigger crime. They did not target him because he's black. The head of the police is a black. The mayor of the city is a black. The prosecutor is a black. The attorney is a black. The judge is a black. The whole city controlled by black. And even the policemen, they are not, they are not even white. Yet they claim that this is an attack against black. So they use the race card for election. Republican, they are trying to use different card. Okay, immigration. Look at those gang coming from Venezuela. But where you been? Always gang is coming from you in Venezuela. <laughs> Trucker Carson is not is not a Christian. He is a Zionist. Not a Christian Zionist. That's a fact. He hate him. People hate him because he's testicles is not nailed to Zionism, just to my scent. That's very funny and stupid. Well, you know, uh, Trucker Carson, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, he, he have one religion, it's called Dollar and Famous. People, they say stupid things, you know. Drucker Carson is not contributing to Christian Zionism. He want Americans. He want American by supporting Muslims, by interviewing Andrew Tate's who uh, like to beat women and he use women and he make women go into the porn business and he defend him and he agree with him. Is that how you want America? <laughs> You are, you are just a stupid idiot. Potato. You know, those people, they, they speak about Christian Zionism. They, they don't even know what does that mean. You know, this potato who is talking about a Christian Zionist, can you call me, Luke? Can you call me and tell me what does that mean, Christian Zionism? I challenge you if you can tell me what does that mean. 
just to show everybody that you are a dummy and you are stupid. Do you dare to call me Luke Wayne and tell me what is a Christian Zionism mean? Yeah. You know, they copy paste. Somebody said something to them. Somebody we he said somebody we copy. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Anyone? Yeah. Luke Wayne said Trucker Carlson should interview Zelensky, but they said he is on kill list. Check uh, out. Okay, well, who said? Who said? Can you show us? Who said? I am in checklist of killing every Muslim around the world. It's for real. Now prove to me that, you know, if somebody want to kill you and you are famous and you go in the street everywhere, everybody know your face, they will be dead for a long time. You, must, you know, you, you know you, those people who support Tucker Carlson are scumbag. They make up a lie to make this guy as if he is someone important. He is nobody. When you go to Dubai, and you praise Islamic countries and you say it is better than your land. Can you ask your trucker Carlson, Dubai is better than USA in which way? In which way? I want to know. If I say one word against the ruler of Dubai, actually, you know what? Today, I promise you, uh, tomorrow, I will go just a program. Well, let us change topic now. We will go and I play the video he made. In his interview and you will see how we are going to expose his big fat mouth this guy have no dignity okay look Wayne okay just get out of here you are not a Christian and you are nobody otherwise call me you are just a dummy and all of us we support Israel you like it you don't like it who care you know the stupid those are stupid people they speak about support okay how, how come trucker Carlson don't dare to say why we are giving assistance to Israel but he dare to say why we are giving assistance to Ukraine just a question why he don't say why he don't oppose it he don't dare he don't All of you are a bunch of a scumbag. Either you are against giving money to someone you have not, no business with them, and you don't we do it with everybody, or you don't choose only one country. This this man obviously is invited to Emirat. Emirat are very close to Russia. In fact, Emirat now is controlled by the Russian, the Russian mafia specifically. So this man, because he is praising Putin, they invited him to Dubai. If he is against Putin, he will never be there, trust me. Do we have any Mohammedan? Yeah, we have a choice, not like you. You are just a dog who follow who you don't know. Do you have a choice? You don't. I challenge you even to call me and tell me what, what, what name for me one thing Trucker Carlson he said is true. You see, just to show you, like I voted for Trump and I will vote for him again. But just to show you one of the stupid things they keep repeating. Even me, I was like, okay, the election is, is, is a story, right? Okay. And I wanted to believe in it. But if I believe in it, why Trump is so excited to win now? If he lost and they stole the election last time when he was a president, don't you think it's impossible for him to win now when he is not a president? At that time, he is in charge. 
The Minister of, the, of Defense is his minister. The Minister of Justice is his minister. The General Attorney is his General Attorney. So if they were able to steal the election when he was a president, why Trump now is so excited and he is sure he will win? Either Trump is lying about the stolen election or he's stupid because if they stole the election last time and they are not in charge, well, for sure this time they will steal it again. So why you are going for election and why you are doing campaign and what this drama about, if that's it, if there's a corruption, then nobody will win except them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but if they are still the election, doesn't matter if Biden is worse or not. If the election is a fraud, then Trump should not be excited and Republicans should not be excited because he will never win anyway, even if the whole nation voted for Trump. So either the election was stolen once, and that means it's going to be stolen, because now it's more worse, because now the Minister of Justice is their own man, the journal attorney is their man, the, ju the judges, I mean, every everything is under their control. And here you see there is somebody is lying to us. Because either the election is a story, then this election, the coming one, is going to be for sure stolen, because now they are in charge. So why Trump going around and what this drama is about, an election, if there's no election? They use COVID to do mail bail out. Well, still, the bail the, the bail out is going to be the same if there's COVID or not. This is not have nothing to do with COVID. Uh, do you think Egypt will get in conflict with Israel? No, uh, Egypt is a bankrupt country. They can't afford a war with anyone for a day. They can't even feed their they, they can't even build enough schools for their babies. They keep begging their citizens to stop having babies. When you hear the Egyptian government screaming too much, they make noise always. This is not the roar of a lion. This is the roar of a drum. Always you need to know that you should be watching your enemy when he is so quiet, not when he is so loud. Do you understand? If the enemy says, tomorrow I'm coming to you, then I'm going to destroy you, I'm going, it, that means he will not do it. The one who wanna do something really harmful, he will not say what he would do. And this is what happened in October 7, right? They did not say we are coming to you tomorrow. Even though they, they say every day that they hate Israel. We lived in the Middle East and we know how Muslims act. When you see a bunch of them shouting too much, it means there's no fight. It's a We live in the Middle East. It looks like I touched the microphone and my voice is gone for some time. I don't know if you guys lost me. By mistake, I touched the microphone. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> and you know, here, we don't, we don't take a side. So when the Israeli do something stupid, we say Israel did something stupid. When Trump, he do something stupid, we say Trump did something stupid, right? And this is what make many people get upset because we don't take a side. We share the truth. It doesn't matter. We are talking about who and why. Like, if you go right now and search for, uh, like yesterday or two days ago, Trump, he said, they said to me, 
Uh, I told them, if you don't pay money, I will encourage the Russian to attack you. I mean, how stupid is that? What is that, man? I mean, this, this guy, he thinks he is sitting in a coffee shop with a bunch of teenage, you see? And now all the people in the NATO, and by the way, I assure you, it's a lie. Do you know why it's a lie, what he said? Because not a single leader, he said, Trump, he said that to me. <laughs> One of the leaders, he didn't know who? No, nobody. One of the leaders? This is remind me of Muhammad speaking about seeing Jibreel. One of the angels came to me. Okay, what is who's he? The leaders of the NATO are there. We can find them. They are alive. Who is the one you spoke to and you told him what you said? He cannot name it because there's nobody. So all of them, sadly, in this country, we don't have real leaders. And the world don't understand that in America, it's a short time. It's not election time. And those Americans, they like show person who make them excited. He gave too much promises. This guy was a president. Iran attacked us many times. What he did? Nothing. Nothing. He say if he was a president, Russian will not attack. Maybe because they might maybe fear him more. But look what happened. How come when the Armenian been slaughtered, you did nothing, you did not stop the war. You can force the Turkish at least to stop joining the force against Azerbaijan. He did not do anything. All of them is the same. Garbage out, garbage out, gar garbage in. Garbage in, garbage out. But for us, because he is the only choice to vote for, he's better than Biden for sure for economy. Otherwise, this, this guy is an idiot. His mouth is like a sink. Why vote? Because if we don't vote, then you will have people who promote uh, homosexuality in your school for your kids. You have to vote. But doesn't mean if we vote for Trump, Trump is the best man, but he is the best between between two. They bring you two donkeys. One want to hit you in your testicles. The other one, he will hit you in your stomach. Choose one. It's not because he's the best. When this guy, he decided to leave Syria and let the Kurdish be slaughtered by Erdogan. How you can trust him? Who can trust him? Nobody. So those Kurdish, we arm them, they fight ISIS, uh, you know, they are our friends and etc. And now just to make Erdogan happy, he decided to leave Syria and Erdogan attacked the north of Syria and he occupied many cities. I never saw such a stupid president like this. But when it's come to economy, when it's come to uh, local policy, he is way better than those stupid Democrats. What we can do? When Erdogan, he took our church in uh, Kostanobol, in the same day, Trump, he post a dish. The whole world is talking about what Erdogan did. The whole world, newspapers, agencies, everybody. The only one who did not open his mouth and not even a single Republican senator or congressman said one word. So who is of them is a Christian? So if you think if if Trump he became a president thing will change, it might change inside America for better economy. But this guy is just a drum. But we have no choice but to vote for him. 
Otherwise, we will have those stupid Democrats ruling us. Imagine now the disaster if those Biden die and this Camilla Harris, Harris, whatever her name, became a president. I mean, this imagine, just imagine the situation. We will be lucky if this guy did not die before the election day. But what we can say and what we can do, you are in a nation where they are under influence either by a pimp or by a big, big fat liar like Trucker Carson. I mean, who is the one who, or a singer who is naked? Uh, what her name? Uh, Tyler? What her name? What her name? I forgot her name, this naked woman. Tyler, Tyler. Everybody wanna, want her to, in, uh, Trump, he want her to endorse him, and Biden, he want her to endorse him. And uh, Biden, he was able to make, his, his, uh, what's his name? Uh, Scooby, Snoopy, what's his name? Yeah, Tyler Swift and uh, what, Snoopy Dog, Snoopy Dog, his name? Snoopy Dog, right? Snoopy Dog. I mean, what a victory, man. He made Aflatone, the biggest philosopher in history, endorse him. If those are the one who will do, make somebody win election, what kind of country this country is? I'm serious. <laughs> what, what, is the, what is even the name of this country? Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. I cannot even remember his name. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Hold on. Snoop Dogg. Trump. And he met Trump and he is waiting his uh, glasses. I mean, look at this. Why you will not vote now for Trump? Give me one reason. And now Joe Biden, he will bring another Snoop Dogg from his side. And now tell me why you cannot vote for uh, Joe Biden. No way. <laughs> if those are the ones who make you win election, I know what kind of a president you are. What a crazy people. So, what I know about, what I learned about this country, that there's no election, there's a short time. They bring you two clown on the stage. One of them is smarter than the other one. Or that one of them is more, let us say, uh, he know how to make himself more appealing. Uh, maybe he's more funny. Like I remember once I was driving and a woman, she called the radio and she said, I will vote for uh, Billy Clinton because he's handsome. Nah. She's horny. It's a very good reason to vote for somebody. He is more handsome. I mean, do I have to be honest here? And this is why many, they are voting for this guy, what his name in Canada, Trudeau, the idiot. This is how stupid they are. Low IQ, low education, short time, just put for them somebody in TV, and he will make them vote as he wish. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here? You know, let us see how many things uh, Trump, he said he will do and he promised to do in the election, how many of them will he would do. I mean, this guy, he, he did not even change the general of the armies when he became a president. 
Not a single person he hired to be a minister or secretary of state, he was lawful and he was good to him. He could not even choose the right one to be his assistant, even his daughter and his son-in-law betray him. He always have a failure when it's come to choose the right one to serve with him. And actually I know right away that he is doomed by choosing his daughter, the Barbie girl. I mean, the first thing I said to myself, how in the world this girl she became a consultant, advisor to president? Who is she? What is her qualification for such an important job? So he fired those who they are working in politics for the last 30 years, and he hired his son-in-law, and later Qatar, they bought him. So I say to you, my friend, if you have a lot of expectation in the coming election, I say to you, you are wrong. The only thing can change. If Trump won the election, price of gas will go down. Economy will be better, for sure. Some changes, but I am expecting him to be a, a, a potato when it's come to the Muslim countries. The first thing he would do, he would start kissing the ass of Muslims, as what he did when he was a president. For he worship money. He will start being so kind to Erdogan. You know, you know what Erdogan did when uh, when Trump he lost the election. He sent a letter to Biden. You can search it. Calling that those who support Trump KKK. Look who is talking about KKK. The guy who killed Kurdish Christians. Anyone who oppose him. And he is talking about KKK. So this potato Trump, he was so helping, supporting for Erdogan. And as soon Trump he left, Erdogan he screwed him. Not only that, Netanyahu. Not even five days after the election, Netanyahu he sent a letter to Biden saying, "Good graduation." I mean, those guys supposed to they are in love together, you know. All his friends are the wrong ones. He could not make one friend. Yeah, this woman, Kalija, Kal uh, I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly, she is very smart. She is the only smart, uh, he have only two smart people, I have to say, in her all administration, the head of the CIA, Pompino, and uh, Pompeno, or his name, and this woman, the blonde woman, she was a speaker of the house. She is a billion times smarter than all of them. She, maybe she, she, can be, uh, she can be way better president from Trump himself. Those people, they have common sense, they have intelligence. But the people you see in the front of you, those are short time people. <laughs> anyway, what we can say? Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? And you know what make me more upset about uh, this Trump? After June, uh, uh, January 6, he, you know, he, a week after he's playing golf, he never mentioned all those poor people who they are in jail. He washed his hands from them. He sent them. The video is there. He sent them there. And he claimed he had nothing to do with them. Since then, he never mentioned their name. Some of them, they will serve for 20, 22 years, 23 years. Some 11, some 13, some 14. Just because they believed him and listened to him. And then as soon as they are in trouble, he do not know them. One of the reasons, actually, I want him to be a president so he can give them a burden and get out, those poor people. And I believe he is so much interested now to be a president because he want to burden himself, because he might go to jail himself. Okay. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Somebody said the only truth, uh, CP, he said that uh, uh, Trump is a scumbag. I don't know if I said that, but I think you are a scumbag too. Because let me tell you something, that this is scumbag, at least he is a person who say what he believe. Uh, he is, let us say, uh, his mouth is not in, uh, controlled. He's more honest than the rest. So maybe he is a scumbag in the way uh, like uh, he talked too much, but he don't uh, do. But I think he is not the kind who uh, knew how to hide what he is thinking. And he is more honest than people like you. He talk like a kid. He don't study what he is saying. He don't think about it so much. Actually, this is the best thing about him, that he is not the same as the rest. But after four years of being a president, we discovered that this person, uh, he made too many promises, few of them are done. And the worst about him, it was his politics abroad. His politics abroad is extremely stupid and dangerous. He wanna he want to take all the American forces from abroad and that will make all the enemies of USA to take over. Okay, when, when Trump, he decided to withdraw from Syria, that was for the benefit of who? Anyone knows? Just a question. When the smart Trump, he decided to withdraw from Syria, it was for the benefit of who? America? Israel, how this guy he claimed that he is, uh, you know, he support Israel very much. And then he decide to let Syria and Russia take over the whole country. I don't know how smart he is. That is just a stupid decision, literally. Turkey and Iran and Putin, they were so happy, excited when they heard that stupid Trump, he decided to withdraw his army from Syria. The Turkish, sorry, the Turkish, they were so happy and the Kurdish, they were terrified. It's time for them to be slaughtered by Erdogan. Time have come. And then the Kurdish they start negotiating with the Iranian. So the Iranian will defend them and will promise them not to be slaughtered by the Turkish. This is how stupid Trump is. Trump, when he decided to withdraw from Syria, he just connected Iran to the borders of Israel. In fact, October 7 happened because of Trump. When Saudi Arabia decided to attack Qatar. By the way, don't listen to me. You can go check in Google and see the news. Saudi Arabia and Emirat. This is Emirat. And this is Qatar, small tiny island. And this is Saudi Arabia. They decided to attack Qatar. Who is the one who saved the terrorist state of Qatar? The stupid Trump. He gave the Saudi a warning from doing any act against Qatar. This is how stupid Trump is. If he did not do that, Hamas will not be supported. Hamas will not be able to do October 7. Hamas will collapse. Because all of us, we knew that the money is coming from Hamas. The stupid Trump, he went in the front of the White House and the video is there and he said, Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism in the highest level. Trump, two weeks after, he sold them airplanes. They gave him money. So one of the bad things about Trump, 
he don't have ethic he have zero ethic he worship mr dollar and when you have a president he worship mr dollar well mr dollar is your you know your your master Yusuf saying Russia is hired by God as subcontractor to save a Christians Orthodox I don't know uh, mr. Yusuf I want to believe you but what I know that you don't save the Christian Orthodox by hiring the terrorist of Qadarov to kill Christians as I know that Qadarov dogs in Moscow are taking over the city and as I know that Putin, he built a mosque for the Muslims, cost $150 million, and it is the biggest mosque in the whole country. Is that true, Mr. Yosef? Is that how you save the church and the Christians? Is that what Jesus says to you? You build a mosque for the enemy of the Christians and the Orthodox? Am I lying? Your so-called Putin, he invited Erdogan, not only he built the mosque, he invited Erdogan to open the mosque. Erdogan who wanna take Crimea and make it the land of the Tatar. And here you notice how people, they try to fabricate the news. They say to you that Putin is a good Christian, but his enemy is the Christians. People are stupid, you know, they say, you know, and people, you know, you know, Putin, by the way, in Russia, Putin, he made a law against homosexuality, but this is not his, his accomplishment. This is the people accomplishment. Same time, you make a law against homosexuality. What about the pimp business in Russia? How many women right now live on air and their legs is open to the cameras? How many people are sold drugs by the Chechen Republic? And what Putin is doing about it? Nothing. He is empowering those dogs. I have something to say to you. When you see the enemy of a Christianity praising a person, that means he is bad. Is that clear? If one day time comes, and the enemy of a Christ, they say to you, Christian Prince is a good man. That means Christian Prince is doomed. Do you understand? So if the Muslim, they praise Putin, that means Putin is a bad person. If the Muslim, they praise Trump, that means Trump is a bad person. If the Muslim they praise a Christian prince, that means Christian prince is a bad person. Why? Because Muslim they don't want, and this is based on the Quran, they don't want something good to America. Let me show you something. When we started today, we talk about what? We talk about uh, Valentine Day, correct? Why Muslims cannot celebrate Valentine Day? What is the major reason? Let me show you something very important. I will open YouTube. Uh, I want you to listen carefully to this video here. And the first question that we have for today is from Um Abdul Rahman. She says, what's the ruling on celebrating Valentine's Day? 
And we could go on talking about the history of Valentine's Day and its origin as a pagan festival, then turned into a Christian festival. And it's sufficient for us as Muslims to know See the lies? that it has nothing to do with Islam. But now you will hear something very important. Listen carefully. And it's called St. Valentine's Day. So it's even not related to Islam, it's related to other religions. But I will not go to that. Celebrating Valentine's Day, whether by giving gifts or receiving them or selling um, red roses or wearing uh, red clothes or sending postcards. All of this is totally prohibited in Islam. The Prophet said, Ali Salaam, whoever imitates Listen carefully. People, Listen carefully. This is very important. Whoever what? Listen carefully. Imitates a people, he is considered to be among them, with them, from them. And this is why the Muslim will not praise you unless you are one of them. Many naive people, like, you know, somebody here says, say to me, oh, sorry, Christian Prince, I don't agree with you. Uh, I respectfully disagree. Uh, uh, on this point, I don't support Putin siding with the Chechenians, but I hate the West supporting the denigration of a Christianity, and uh, Russia is against it. Uh, how how Russia is against against that? If I go right now, first of all, when you say the Western supporting the, how that what does that mean? Our churches is open. Our Bible study is everywhere. People preaching in the street. We have the biggest churches in the world. And Christians in America are the biggest donors to donate and help the people around the world. If we check right now, how many people in Russia they donate to help any church around the world? Nothing. What are you talking about? People, they say things doesn't make sense. In this country, people, they don't even have a place to park their car to go inside the church. You go Sunday, there's no place for you inside the church. What are you talking about? In Russia, if you say the word war, you will be arrested. Even if you are a priest, search right now, a priest was arrested for saying the word war in his website. He did not even speak against Putin. So what the Christians are allowed to do in Russia, go to the church, do the ceremony, come back home, don't open your mouth. That's it. In this country, we make fun of Biden and he is the president. Somebody saying to you, churches are empty in America. We laugh at you. You will, they are even they are even renting the stadiums to do service. Uh, Zikar said, "America bombed my country, Serbia." Well, my friend, but those are not the Christians who bombed your country. This is Billy Clinton, and Billy Clinton obviously is no Christian. He is the president. It's not the Christians who bombed your country. It's not. Same time, as long you are from Serbia. Well, why you are now supporting Russia against Ukraine? Aren't they the Christians too? How you go and you side with Kadarov dogs? The one who want to kill every Serbian and you join Putin to attack the Ukrainian. How that work for you? So when you want you are a Christian, when you want you are not? Either you are a Christian or you are not. Billy Clinton is a scumbag. He is no Christian. He was having sex with his secretary. 
He needed something to cover his shame. He go to the war. Muslims are paying for the war in Serbia. Either you are a Christian and you are against any army going to attack a Christian country or you are a fake Christian. Somebody saying, why Catholic Church start blessing gays? Well, this is the Pope and the Catholic Church is the people and you are stupid. I can show you right now someone he is Orthodox and he said there is no problem to be a gay. I can show you someone is a Muslim. I can show you someone he is a Protestant. But those are not the Protestant and those are not the Catholic and you are a donkey. You see, this is what Jesus said. You are the same as those who go and say to their brother, look, look, look at the thing in your eye, look at your, but you have a big tree in your eye, you didn't see it. Why Putin don't close all the businesses for cameras and casinos and pimp house and prostitution? Why? Ah, when you are a Christian, you are a Christian. When you don't want, you don't want. If we go right now to Serbia, you are acting like Muslim. You live like Muslims. Boyfriend, girlfriend, the same as Muslim. You do muta. And then they say to you, you are, they are Christians. You live like Muhammad. You die like Muhammad. A lot of those people who keep saying they are Christians, they are fake. They have nothing to do with Christianity. Christianity is not someone he call himself a Christian and hey, I am Serbian, I wanna fight. You fight who? I saw once in, uh, in YouTube a program, live program. It's like they are copying the American show, reality show. Disgusting, literally disgusting. What is this? A Christian should not attack a Christian country and should not attack even a Muslim country unless to defend yourself. Putin, he sold you out. What Putin, he did when Bill Clinton was bombing you, nothing. What Putin did when the Armenians were slaughtered in Armenia just a few months ago, nothing. He sold you all out to Erdogan. And yet you claim that Putin is a Christian. What a bunch of dummy. Putin, he can stop Turkey and Azerbaijan by saying one word. And all of us renew that. But he was watching. And he made the Armenian lose their land. Am I lying? But they show you Putin in Easter going to the church and he is praying and the camera is on him. We are here to expose everybody. We are not against one against one. We are here to expose all their lies. Why you praise Valentine's Day in the way celebrated nowadays. Well, I am celebrating Valentine's Day today. How I celebrate it. Did I have sex with you? You are just a stupid idiot. Just to show you how people are so stupid. Christian Prince, why you are celebrating Valentine's Day the way celebrated this day, huh? Okay, what is the way celebrated this day? Can you tell us the way celebrated this day? If you are a whore, you are a whore in Valentine's Day or any day. I mean, you have sex 365 days a year. And now this is the day you are complaining about that because you are a whore. A Christian person, he will be Christian 365 days. <laughs> Monkeys, like, like Muhammad. They claim to be religious and they go sleep around the whole year. Babe, how are you doing, babe? What you do today, babe? A bunch of idiots. <laughs> 
you know, the, the funny is that they are actors, you know, actors. He changed the topic. Now it wasn't about Putin because now I mentioned to him what Putin did to Armenia. He cannot answer. What Putin did to Serbia? He cannot answer. They cannot. All of you are the same. Fake. Why Putin did not attack? He said he is worried about the NATO. Okay, so why he is buying from Turkey and selling his oil to Turkey and doing all the business with Turkey and more than 2 million Russian now in Turkey? Isn't it this is the NATO? Isn't it this is the Ottoman Empire? They want to take a Crimea? Aren't they the Ottoman who enslaved your girls and raped them? Now the Ottomans are your friends? Liars, hypocrite. When they want, they have memory. When they want, they have none. What did you just did ask to do Armenia? Answer that. What do you ask do did to Armenia? Yeah, what he did to Armenia. Azerbaijan and Turkey, both countries, attack Armenia and they slaughter thousands of Armenians and they took their land. What Putin he did? Nothing. He did not even give them one drone. Putin did not even allow them to buy weapon. This is why they lost the war. The stupid Armenian, they trusted Putin. He fooled them. He sold them out. He need Azerbaijan because he's importing his oil through Azerbaijan. He sell his oil to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan sold the oil of Putin as it is coming from Azerbaijan. All of us renew that. What Putin did? Nothing. And he will do nothing, for he is a scumbag. All of you who support criminals are scumbag. All of you. Whoever support a criminal who kill a Christian is a scumbag. When America attacked Serbia, Putin was not the president. Ah, okay. Uh, I remember, you know, like you see, remember uh, Putin. He said when uh, when the when Ukraine have their independent, he was not the president. But how come Putin himself he signed many agreement with every single Ukrainian president, especially about the gas line. He was the president, so how he accepted the border with Ukraine, he have embassy in exchange of ambassador, because Ukraine at that time, they were their puppies. Same time, you said to me, at that time, he was not a president. Who said so? He was a big shot in the government. He's very heavy, involved in everything. The war in Shishenia, he was there. Okay, now he is a president. What he's doing to Serbia? Yesterday, they forbid the Serbian currency in Serbia. What Putin would do to you? Nothing. If the Muslim now, they start attacking you in Serbia, what Putin would do? Nothing. He would do the same to you he did to the Armenian. Who hate the Serbian? the Turkish, the Albanian Muslims, Azerbaijan. The same enemy is the enemy of Armenia. If he did that to the Armenian, what he would do to you? Nothing. I say something very important for you. The one who trusts the neighbor of his security is a donkey. The one who trusts his neighbor for his safety and the honor of his wife is a donkey. Anyone, he trusts someone else for his security is a stupid. You see, we have police. Do I put my trust in the police to protect me? No. Why? Because even the, the police are honest. 
to protect me. By the time they arrive, I will be dead. Do you understand? Then what the police will do, they will take pictures of me and they will write a piece of paper and they put it in a file and they say this guy was killed by a shot in the head. Thank you very much. So you in Serbia, you have, and you better prepare yourself for what's coming. Your enemy is lining up for you. And obviously the NATO is against you. And the NATO is obviously an evil power these days. It's not a good, a good power. But doesn't mean Russia is better. Here we go. He want to steal the resource of his neighbors. When the Shishanian, they decide to take independent, what the Russian they did, they wage war. Well, this is their land. Why you want to, why you want to wage war against them? Or oh, you cannot separate from us. But when some who support Russia and Ukraine, they want to separate, oh, they have the right to separate. Absolutely. But Shishanian, they can separate. No, you cannot. Do you see the hypocrisy? When you Yugoslavia, they want to, you know, Croatia, they want to be a country, uh, Kosovo, etc. You Serbian went crazy. So why you are supporting the separate in Ukraine? You wage war against the separate in, 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 in your country, but you accept the separate in different country? You are a hypocrite. And this is the problem. The problem that all of them, they are fake Christians and they are fake in their judgment and in their history. Either you are against separation from your country and you do it to everybody, or you are with it. You go for war in Serbia to fight those who want to separate from you. But you support the separate in Ukraine. Hypocrite. You see, if you are a Christian, you have to be honest in what you say, and you don't take a side. I love the people of Serbia. I was really in pain when they were bombing Serbia. I was deeply in pain. But what my pain can do to fix it? If you are a Christian, you will be against any act of evil. It doesn't matter what evil is done. But you cannot be Christian and you support evil in one place and you claim it is evil in, not evil in different places. If it's the same act, you are just a hypocrite. Uh, anyway, you know, here, I know many people, they get upset from me for what I say, but what I say is just, uh, you know, from the heart and uh, prove me wrong. Like, I speak against American uh, government all the time, but not because I hate America. I, me, myself, I joined the USA Army to defend this country. But I did not join the USA army to attack Serbia. The Muslim pay us. We go to war with the Christian country. That's the whole story. Trump, when he spoke a few days ago, and he says, you have to pay us to protect you. This guy is talking as if you are a mafia, as if we are a gang. What kind of a president you are? You have to pay us to protect you. And this is the same as Putin. 
Putin, he have Wagner, the biggest scumbag criminals company in the world. He hired them, he sent them to kill the Ukrainian, and then he killed the head of this crime organization. All of you are the same. All of you worship money. Don't wear a cross and claim to be a Christian. All of you, you have one master. His name is the devil, dollar. We are not cheap, nor for free. Well, you are cheap when somebody pay you to die for him. You are very cheap. <laughs> I don't know how people, they see things. Look, I mean, look what this gentleman, he said, Johnny, he said. By the way, don't be offended if I say, if I speak about your comment, but you ask for it. You are talking to me, right? I have to answer you. Anyway, if you are offended, who cares?